it's moving vlog time. I'll get Romeo in it. I can't. I'm too tall. It's we'll have to moving vlog time. Yay! <laughs> hey guys, welcome back to the channel. It's all go at the moment, everyone. Finally, we can show you our disastrous house oh, in the background. Are you sure you want to see that? After weeks of literally like trying to cover up like boxes and stuff. Do you know what? I'm just being totally vulnerable about the mess of our house right now. I'm trying really hard to just not even care. This is like the one time in life I feel like I can actually have a messy house in the background. And, and I love like... it. No cleaning for dad. So, welcome back. If you guys have seen the last video, you'll know we are moving house. We have a week left in this house. Oh, wow. <laughs> you look thrilled to be packing up. <laughs> you're thrilled to be packing up your room darling is that what we're gonna do today we have so much to get through today i mean we've got so much to get through over the next week to be honest where are we yeah. gonna start today what, we've like, what's the vlog? What are we kicking we've off started today? packing up just a bit of clutter we need to actually start moving furniture we got pack some big things should we show them the living room i feel like our starting point today so we haven't done playroom yet can i, can I actually just say we've not actually really started well we have started it's a bit weird we have started to move just lazy just, Come on, we're just, just untidy we're, we're just being free today oh, okay, it, okay? okay we're just being free like we're just being the two messy parents that we actually are deep down you know yeah you know and we're just not holding shame about that like life is allowed to be lived our house is allowed to look like we're about to move house next week like we have two kids and two labradors and dog hairs everywhere and do you know what i mean Alge, you really are being i'm just being honest you're today. exploiting us here yeah we the haven't... living room's got the biggest transformation we haven't like come on started this will go in together i feel like when you look in rooms like this <sighs> it's really obvious that we're moving but then you look at like the boys room it looks exactly the same. The playroom, it literally looks the same. So. so we start with the living room first because that's got the stuff that we don't need. Less essential. So sideboards are gone. I feel like, do you want to hold Romeo in our vlog? I don't want him just like... He doesn't mind. You know. <laughs> <laughs> right, this is what then. So if you guys watched the last video, you'll know we're moving into rented accommodation until our next house is ready in between the time that we've sold this house and then moving into the next place. That rented accommodation is furnished. So with a lot of our like big furniture pieces that I don't really want to get rid of because it literally took me ages to style style the home, yeah. you know? I Bless me, Con. I actually even remember working with an interior designer <gasps> yeah, to style room, this though. living room. Hey, we need to get you a wipe, don't we? Lucy and Jordan came around the other day because Jordan's been helping us move quite a lot of the big furniture with his van and stuff. And um, I literally caught myself sounding so much like our dad. Like, I actually can't even cope. Me and my sisters have always had like a running joke in the family that my dad is just like, how do you explain? Like, a hoarder. With like, it'll be like a paintbrush and he'll be like, you don't know how nice this paintbrush actually is. I'm never getting rid of it for the next 50 years. And then when I die, it has to be passed down to you. And it then a grandkid. £20 yeah, like it, it. <laughs> it's like, he's so funny with it. That side really came out in me. Like now that we're getting rid of this house, guys. A coffee table. I'm like, Romeo might want it one day. Right? right? We're pretty much keeping everything. Let's be real. So we've got a storage unit that we have from the end of this week. So a lot of our big furniture is going in there. And then we're just gonna be packing yeah. all the other bits, to be honest, right now. Because yeah. we need to move all of that as well because we're not getting removal men. Yeah. It's just me. Yeah, Con's me decided van. that- I'm saving us some money. That's man. what he's doing, but do you know what? If that's the journey that you wanna go on with this house move, Con, you've got my full support. God, okay, so this is really showing where we are right now, you know? We've not touched upstairs. I would have Quite loved honest. to have started this video from like a completely like, you know, all of the furniture is where it's supposed to be. It's a clean house, blah, blah, blah. But at the end of the day, Gordon comes over with a van and he's like, right guys, let's load it, load it up. Couldn't really hold back, do you know what I mean? But look at, I mean, this is where we filmed the moving video. So you will already see this, but the bookshelf is gone. You could tell that came in with us exactly when we moved in for the first time because <laughs> the painting and the panelling is non-existent in that spot. Guys, our house has a pretty <gasps> nice... Didn't even think about that, God. Bookshelf to go there. They probably didn't... Oh no, now I feel bad. Yo, we bad. 
No thanks, yikes. We, well, I'm gonna, we need, you need to declutter this and that. Oh, it's tiring already. And maybe even Yo-Yo's room because he's not gonna go in there until we move, is he? No. I will tell you what though, before we go like, into the depth of this first moving vlog, I just want to say, this is a massive box full of loads of baby stuff that we're realistically no longer going to be using and if and when we have another baby i don't know like now we're moving house it just we don't just want to keep loads of baby stuff in storage do we so no. we're going to be giving this all away over on instagram so make sure that you go and follow me over there we've got loads of good stuff in there i'm literally we're basically sending like a full starter pack for having a baby, basically. We've got this beautiful cot, not the book. Unless anybody wants an earth encyclopedia, that is currently going to our nephews. I don't even know why we have an earth encyclopedia. I think maybe it was my dad's. Let's be honest, it was probably my dad's because I don't know who would have wanted to give me an earth encyclopedia when I was a little girl. It's probably my dad's from about 1980. We've got a Tommy Tippy prep machine. We've got a baby Brezza machine. What else is in here, Con? Oh, the Tommy Tippy Steriliser. Steriliser. Um, we've got some weaning books over here. Oh my God, this book, which is literally... Oh, look, I want to get Con to keep this in storage, but I know he's going to be like, why would you keep it? The day-by-day -day pregnancy nice. book. <laughs> this is literally like such a gorgeous book. I love reading this when I'm pregnant. It literally... It, it does what it says on the tin. It's a day-by-day -day pregnancy book. Tells you what's going on with the baby. Oh my God, I also have... All of these from lockdown that I literally never ended up using. Does anybody remember when I put on my Instagram story that Disney were doing a cross-stitch magazine <laughs> in lockdown? And I was literally subscribed to it for about a year. A year. And every single month, payment came out of my bank account. And Connor was like, are you actually ever going to cross-stitch? And every month I was like, yes. Never did. Never did. So I'm going to be giving all of these away. There's about 50. If anyone wants to learn how to do a Disney cross stitch, um, yeah, we've got loads of good stuff and I'm gonna be giving it all away on Instagram on the Angel Girl chat, on my channel thing over there, or maybe I'll do it on my stories. I'm not sure, I haven't really decided yet, but just a fun thing for you, if you wanna get involved with that. Yeah, so anyway. Post, so you gotta keep your eyes out. Yeah. Should we get the show on the road? I've been writing all day if you can see that. And then we can go out for some lunch. Do yeah, what? reward ourselves. Ten minutes time? Yeah. And if anybody is wondering what our playlist to yeah, packing yeah, is going to be, yeah. it's going to be the Bigger Houses album by Dan and Shay, because that's our favourite. Right, top one on. This song is a... Oh yeah. Oh yeah. I'm a country boy at heart. How about you, Ed? Cowboy Connor. Cowboy Connor. <laughs> Know the weather will get colder That it can't always be spring And when I pushed you in a stroller You were looking up Singing life like a church hymn You are gonna find your place, child Of that much I know we have got through the majority of the playroom stuff, but because we're still going to be here for like another week and a half, only so much we can do right now. Like I don't really want to pack up loads of Saints toys that he plays with every day, you know? So we've just basically done a massive declutter in there and Connor is just sorting through some of the study stuff while our lunch is cooking. We're having tuna baguettes for lunch today, which throws me right back to my first pregnancy. If any of you guys around for that, you'll know that we literally had like tuna and cheese baguettes like all the time. Um, but I am about to start working through some of my vintage stuff. So I'd like to send off a little note to every single person that buys something from my vintage. Just a little note from me to you. So I'm going to write my thank you notes. So yeah, if anybody's been wondering like what the whole vintage thing has been about, why I've been doing such a massive wardrobe declutter, it's because you go. We need to get rid of a lot of stuff in our wardrobe ready for the move. And then I'm gonna pack it all up and then take it to the shop to post. And then that'll be pretty much my wardrobe stuff done. And then I'm gonna try and start getting through the boy stuff, which hopefully won't take me as long because the clothes are so small. I don't know. Will the boys wardrobe clear up be a smaller task because the clothes are smaller or does it not matter because they're like the same amount of clothes? Do you know what I mean? Then whose wardrobe ours? Mine. Um... 
I reckon that's a bit easier. It's like a math problem. That's a bit easier. Hope so, hon. You should be like, oh, shh. Yeah, but that's what I was like with mine. Do you know what I mean? No, I don't. Yeah. Someday you will be stronger than you are now. But you will not know everything. And when the water's spilling over the bow. You'll still have me in the way You gotta get up to get down, kid You gotta get down Good morning <coughs> yeah. Hello Chatterbox Good morning Oh, I shot your blanket My grandma, my mum's mum knitted Romeo and Saint matching um, blankets. She knitted ba basically like a baby blue version for Saint of this when Saint was born and a matching teddy bear. And she knit Romeo the same one. And it's literally like the most sentimental gift I have for you from when you were born. And I'm going to be keeping them forever. Is there any other mum like that? Like I just, I know we've already discussed my inability to just like throw things away especially when it comes to the kids hello my loves another day closer to moving out today is tuesday today the peloton has going connor has been on in charge of getting rid of all of the um gym equipment because in our rented accommodation so there's no way we could have even a peloton in there which i'm really really sad about because i have absolutely loved my peloton loved my peloton like I've not found a love for exercise like I have with the Peloton in years. It made me feel really fit and confident for my wedding when I was um, in the lead up to that last year after I had same. And I've been doing a few Peloton sessions since having Romeo. And it's just so much fun. It's so much fun. Like, honestly, I love it. But someone's come to collect it today because there's just no room for it. Well, we're going to go. Hey, Look at these two. Oh, you be careful now, actually, Spider-Man, please. Yeah. Kissing them up. Come on, then. <laughs> the bond these two have is just getting stronger every single day. It literally breaks my heart. You feel dead. Anyway, I'm going to go into the home gym and do one last Peloton session this morning before we crack on with another day of moving. Bubble butt cake. Have you any wool? Yeah. <laughs> so, yes, yeah, sir, yeah, three yeah, bags yeah. full. Yeah. One for the master, yeah. one for the day. <laughs> Yay, good singing, say. Let me do it. What other song do we sing, Romeo? We sing Twinkle Twinkle, don't we? Yeah. Little star, how I wonder what you are. Little star, how I wonder what you are. A peppermint in the sky. Oh my. Who sang that? The Hulk? Yeah. <laughs> Whoa. Yeah, you do it. Yeah, yeah, can you do that? Yeah, you have to sing Twinkle Twinkle like that, Romeo. <sighs> One final time together, my love. Oh, we have to say our goodbyes. Our home gym is starting to look much more like a garage now that we're moving. We've got random little bits and bobs of furniture in here. I'm gonna miss this place. Do you know what moving so far has really taught me? I'm not good with goodbyes. I, like, I'm really not good with goodbyes. Even with my Peloton, I'm like, emosh. You know, I'm literally my shadow tear about this being my final Peloton class in probably a really long time. Now, do I do a Disney ride for my final farewell? Do I do the Barbie class? That's always a vibe. Let's do a bit of pop.
country as well. Who my favourite instructor is as well. I mean, I've got a few, but Cody is definitely up there. 20 minute 2000s. Let's see what's on this. Pink, Katy Perry. I feel like I actually need like a power ballad song today. That's the, you know, I need like a bit of Whitney Houston to make me emotional on this last ride. Yes, Ali Love serving us with the Whitney vibes. Oh my God, this Cody one looks like a vibe. I always have to check the playlist before though. One, two step, touch my body. If he make you feel. Oh, I've had a change of heart. I've gone for this Cody class. Look at this playlist, unwritten. Love song, so yesterday. I feel like this is the vibe. Unwritten by Natasha Benningfield is like a bit of me right now. Fitting to my life. This is a very okay, Cody. It is full of corny songs. Let's go I hope then. Sing your heart out too. I will. Sing it, baby. Sing it with pride. I will, Cody. Let's go. I know. Moment of gratitude for the peloton and for exercise. Okay, see this. Wow. Wow, Saint. Good bike riding. Good cycling. This is what the treadmill has been being used for mostly for the past yeah. six months. So, what car are you using? This one. Okay, and Daddy's going to use a recycling van, yeah? You ready? Three, two, one, go! Thank you. Wow! Oh, your car is crashing into Dad! Oh no! Uh oh! <laughs> 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 we have, have arrived. arrived! We've arrived! At my favourite destination in the world! B&Q. Do you know, I feel like your trips to B&Q, like you either never go or you come like 10 times in a day. Yeah. That's Connor's Literally my life. relationship with B&Q. What's our shopping list, Ellie? Well, I don't know. We're we here got... for you, hun. I'm just here for the moral support. Moving boxes, moving boxes, moving boxes. Um, maybe some labels. Oh, actually, good thing you actually asked me what my shopping list is, Ellie. <laughs> we need to get a better version of that. Okay. Oh, I forgot that, boys. Let's get mummy. Pardon, darling, you're going to get a basket? Yes. Okay, my love. Papa Pig in the basket. And you're going to put Peppa Pig in the basket? Yeah. You're going to bring your laptop into B&Q, are you? Where in the world? PC world. Oh, well done. This way? Okay. Away. I just can't believe I'm at this phase in life. Like, do you think there's any monsters in here? Oh. Or any? Do you think Sully's behind there saying? Yeah. Sully or Mike Mazowski? Monsters, monsters in, in there. there. Yeah. Say so hello, monsters. Oh yeah. my. <laughs> Movie night. <Hello> pizza. <laughs> yeah, like I just can't believe I'm at the stage in life where you know. My eldest child is walking around putting a basket around being cute because we're moving house out of our first ever like family home. I've got my five, nearly five month old in the pram. Oh, I don't know where life goes. So that when sliced, it will reveal neat vertical legs. Hello, Harvey. Hello, Aki. This is Paul Hollywood. And prune. Oh, pro, sorry. <laughs> nah. What can I say? I'm a dad. It's Bake Off night, guys. Oh. Episode one's just started. I've got my cookies in the oven. We don't actually have um, freshly baked cookies tonight. We've got Marks and Spencer's frozen ones that I popped in the oven. I know this has nothing to do with moving, but um, excuse me. Let me try this. So that's good tonight. Connor, I've not even had any chorizo yet. Six point five out of ten. Connor, no one asked you for your rating tonight. It's a ten out of ten. It's a ten out of ten. 
and your turn out of ten. Yeah, I know this isn't um anything to do with moving, or I guess maybe it would be because I guess maybe the moving is adding to my stress level. But I've not really had the best mental health day today. I had a oh, that that is literally just goes through you, doesn't it? I had a therapy session this afternoon, and it just unleashed like. Pandora's box basically and it's not often that my therapy sessions do that like usually I'm I'm pretty good at kind of like wrapping everything back up that needs to be wrapped back up before the end of my therapy session and then I can kind of honestly like go through the rest of my day with a little bit of a slower pace but it's rare that it like literally stops me in my tracks and that's what happened today so not much packing to update you on in this part of the moving vlog but very comforting creamy cajun chicken and chorizo pasta dish with some garlic ciabatta and an episode of the bake-off because i'll take that over a moving section of the vlog any day and i knew you guys would as well it's literally just dawned on me that we move in a week and i still feel like we have so much to go a lot of the gym stuff went today actually and just random things as well like stuff from the attic that we've been just keeping for ages like a random air con unit just stuff that there's no point like bringing to our new rented accommodation we also don't really have anywhere for it to go you know so con's been in charge of like meeting basically all the 101 guests that have been coming to our house today to like collect different um things so that's the moving update there really yeah the garage is looking quite empty now the playroom we've just continued to declutter it is tuesday night right now and i think in the morning i'm gonna try and get a head start on boys rooms there's not really too much to do there because i am quite strong with decluttering their wardrobes quite often i mean like with romeo i have to do it every three months anyway and he's only not even five months so i've only had to do it once but saying i've I've kept quite on top of his stuff. Um, I did it just before summer. So it's just their wardrobe and like soft toys and stuff really, which I think I'm gonna be giving quite a lot away in the giveaway that I'm gonna be doing on Instagram. I just feel like I could sleep for a million and one years to be honest. I might update you on this kind of stuff in the next vlog, but I've got a blood test tomorrow that I am um, looking forward to getting the results from that with my therapy session today just kind of has me like just need a minute you know I just need a minute and I think it's just hitting me like you know it's just hitting me all a little bit to be honest not to get like you know deep and emotional but they say that moving can be like one of the top most stressful things that you can do and I'm just like so sentimental and just silly with this kind of stuff anyway I'm going to leave you guys here for the evening and then yeah we can crack on with um, some more decluttering and stuff in the morning. Daddy! <sighs> He's awake now, but he's in his bed. He's chilling in bed. Say hello, brother. Hello, brother. Twinkle, twinkle, twinkle little star. How I wonder you? what you are. Saint, should we sing the chocolate bar version? Yeah. Twinkle, twinkle, little star. My dad drives a rusty car. No, I don't, you are. And the engine pull the choke. Off we go in a puff of smoke. Hi, hi, hi. Saint and Daddy here. Oh. <laughs> Cheeky yo yo. <laughs> You're such a lovely big brother, babe. That's it. That's wow. one side there. Can you want to do the other side? You ready? Pull. Where are you going? Oi. Oi. Oh, ah. Dan's 
same. And we gotta do one more side. For your castle. Castle. Look, see how big it is. Do you want to put it on top? Yes. <laughs> oh. Oh. oh! Well oh. done! Oh, well, You're so strong! Daddy, higher, higher! Daddy, bigger, younger! Can we do one more? Yeah. Okie dokie. Just take I that. told you taller! But make it taller and taller? Yeah. Saint, who lives in castles? Saint does. <laughs> yeah. That's a door. That's a door. Okay. That's the window. That's the window. <gasps> Saint, look. Daddy's built a castle. <laughs> Can Daddy come in? Yeah. Come on, Daddy's coming in. <sighs> knock, knock. Knock, knock. This is the boy's castle. Oh. Oh. <laughs> What about this little boy waiting? Can Romeo go in your castle? Yeah. That's nice. Uh, you'll come on me, your castle. Oh, you'll come in the boy's castle, quick. Here he comes. Knock, knock. <gasps> Let me in. Come on, son. Hello? Can I come in? Yeah! Should we let mummy as well? Yeah! Uh, every castle needs a princess, right? Yeah! Come on then, mummy. Oh, is mummy a princess? Yeah! Mummy, come in! Okay. Come on, mummy. Come in! <laughs> I know. Should we go and get the big dragon? <gasps> no, Papa Pig! Oh, we'll go and get Peppa Pig? Yeah! What, Peppa Pig lives in the castle? Yeah! Does she? Yeah! <gasps> she got Peppa Pig! Hurry up! Hurry up! Hurry up! up. Hi! You got Peppa! Wow! Oh my goodness! Sit on the car! Okay. That's the throne! <gasps> Forgot the dragon! Shall I go and get them? Yeah! Okay! Stay there then. Okay. Got Peppa Pig. You've got Peppa Pig. Same. I've got the two dragons. Oh, <gasps> hey, hey, dragons. Someone let them loose. that they're breathing fire, Saint. Saint, they're all breathing fire. Hello my angels, another day and I need to actually start living my life seriously that we are moving out of this house in eight days time. We've been in Bath today doing a couple of things for one of the secret projects that I have coming that I'm so excited to talk to you guys about. I'm in London tomorrow and to be honest here I am literally swanning around as if I have no care in the world, like I haven't got an entire house to pack up so we've just got home. I've just put Romeo down for a sleep. Connor and Saint are currently walking the boys and I thought I could finally get a bit of a head start on the boys' rooms because I just have not even touched them. I feel like, to be honest, is I'm telling my, this one I'm telling myself, it's not gonna be that hard of a job. Got my big cup of tea to help me get through this task. And I've got some dairy milk, orange giant buttons. Guys, can I actually say something? You all know I'm a dairy milk queen love a bit of chalk but i am usually just like a bit of a standard chalk like i'll just go for the milk buttons i bumped into my friend at tesco's express and i was doing some of my vintage stuff the other day and she was also doing the same thing funny that vintage queens she was like oh i'm just gonna go and get myself some um orange buttons because they're literally the best thing ever i was like what so influenced so i bought them there is something about these i i like don't even know what to tell you they're so much nicer than just standard chocolate buttons. I'm like, I love the normal chocolate buttons. We all know that. I'm not like the first person to grab the Terry's chocolate orange off of the Tesco shelf at Christmas time. I mean, I like it. Don't get me wrong, it's nice. It's not like my fave, but the buttons. Mind blown. So I have a feeling there's going to be a lot in this room that I'm going to be donating to the giveaway pile. Things like... 
this big play mat, this tummy time pillow, maybe the mobile, these two. These are so nice, they're like little lamps. Maybe a couple of things off this bookshelf. Mm, yeah, these pillows. But I think it'll be easier to start with this wardrobe. You gotta get up to get down, kid. You gotta get down to get up again. You gotta get up to get down, kid. You gotta get down to get up again. I love you all so much. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you so much for being a part of this journey. Um, I know there hasn't been a whole lot of moving going on in this vlog, but we're one step closer, guys. I think the next vlog is gonna be a lot more like, you know, the house is gonna be looking a lot emptier and we're gonna be doing a lot of stuff like that. But I love you guys so much. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next moving vlog.